It really messed me up. To Elizabeth Gilbert. I cannot wait to be done. It's so hard for me to get rid of books. Hi. I'm exhausted, okay? I have ordered myself breakfast because I'm just too tired to make anything and like I don't really have enough like I need a lot of food and I just don't have enough to make like a full meal so I ordered some breakfast I'm just gonna do a few quick little updates because it has been a little while since I vlogged I didn't vlog last weekend I'll tell you why okay also spoiler alert I have not gotten any more Ben writing done just know that going into this so last weekend I mentioned in my last vlog that um, I'm working an overnight I was working an overnight so last Friday the what is that 14 something like that. I worked overnight so we started at 6 30 p.m. and I didn't get home you know we wrapped at about 8 like I think I got home around 8 30. First overnight in a long time and also it just at the beginning of the week we were starting at 7 a.m. so you know that shift from like super early morning to then like it's just it was a whole flip and it really messed me up. Saturday whatever was left of my Saturday I think I woke up that weekend <laughs> so that Friday was my mom's birthday which meant the Saturday evening I had my mom's birthday dinner so I got home I don't think I fell asleep until like after 9 a.m. at some point I woke up around 3 30 feeling really really exhausted but I needed to go to my mom's dinner so I basically woke up long enough to like kind of get ready go have dinner with my parents and then I came home and just kind of went back to sleep because I was so tired I think I was awake other than the eight hours of work that I did at the very beginning of the day I think I was awake like five hours or something and then just went back to sleep I was feeling so dead so exhausted so then on Sunday I woke up maybe around like 7 30 but I was still just so tired so I didn't get out of bed for a while and then I had D&D &D at 1 30 so I went to my D&D &D session it was so good I love I love playing D&D &D. and then after that I did want to write I did mean to like do some writing or do something but I just didn't I was just way too tired that was my weekend I wanted to get some writing done I really did want to work on Ben but I just I did didn't have the energy. I just did. I did not. So then this week was, you know what? I barely remember this week. I just know that it was hectic. And then last night, Friday, was another overnight, not as drastic as last Friday, but we did start, we started at 1.30 p.m. and then we wrapped at 4 a.m. this morning. The location is about 50 minutes away and I also was driving my friend home. So I didn't get home and into bed until like 6 a.m. It is currently 2 p.m. I have, I'm actually very excited about this weekend. Tonight, I'm actually meeting up with Jessie Elliott. Um, I'll have her stuff linked down below. She's another author tuber. She's an indie author. I love her. She's great. So I'm meeting up with her tonight. We're going to have dinner and then we're going to see Elizabeth Gilbert. So we have that tonight and I'm so friggin' excited about it. So yeah, basically all I'm going to be doing um, up until I have to meet her for dinner is I'm going to eat this, tidy up a little bit, and then just kind of get ready. Even though I knew this month was going to be brutal for work, I don't think I realized just how brutal and how exhausting it would be. So I don't know that I'll be getting to the five chapter. I still have a little bit of time. You know, there's still this this week. This, this week? Oh, I only have one week left. I'm definitely not going to get to my five chapter goal, but I, at the very least, want to finish the current chapter that I'm on, chapter six. I, I'm still, I've done the first scene. Not quite though, because I do want to edit a little bit more of the end of that scene. But yeah, my revised goal for the rest of camp is just to at least finish this chapter and then that'll be two chapters that I finish this month. And yeah, that's kind of the update for now. I, it's, I've been, I've actually been really proud of myself for how consistent I've been with posting and vlogging while I've been working because I've never been able to do that. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that when I'm on contract, sometimes I don't post for like three months. So feeling really good. It's definitely a priority for me this year is to be consistent with YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to eat this and watch something on TV. I just want to sit, eat, and watch TV. Hello, so it is the next morning. It's April 23rd. It's just after 9. It's not, It's almost 9.30. There's a couple of things I need to get done today before I hang out with my friend around 5, 6. Number one, I need to finish getting ready for the day. I'll put my makeup on and stuff after this. Next is I need to go get groceries. Just a couple things, not too much because I'm not going to be home during the week, but I, I do need little things that I can eat throughout the week um, so I don't have to keep Ubering things. And then I really need to like tidy and clean my apartment. I'm not going to be doing like, it, it's not going to be super, super clean, but I need to at least tidy and you know get rid of garbage and do some laundry so i do a little bit of that and then i need to 
get some Ben work done before my friend comes over. So I'm gonna kind of do that as the last thing until my friend comes over. I really wanna finish at least one more scene in chapter six today, so that's the plan. So it's a little bit later. It's about 2.37 right now. I've done dishes. I've cleaned up my apartment. I still need to start some laundry. But basically I've completed kind of all the stuff that I wanted to get done before I dive into some writing. And now it's time to dive into some writing. So it has been a few days since I've worked on Ben. I haven't really worked on it. I, I maybe opened the document like twice and changed one little thing on like on my phone while I was at work. But I haven't been able to really get into any real writing. So like I had mentioned about work, it's definitely this month is is very it's very hard it's been especially exhausting i have two weeks left of shooting and obviously as i'm sure you've guessed i cannot wait to be done right now i don't have any contracts lined up um which is I, i'm very excited about that a little bit nervous but mostly really looking forward to that i have a few fun things planned for my time off when it comes to creative work when it comes to youtube videos and just my general life stuff um there's a lot that i want to do <laughs> during my time off okay so right now i'm gonna spend about 45 minutes working on ben I'm gonna finish the first scene of chapter six and you know get well into the second scene of chapter six. Before I get into this writing session I can't remember if I talked about last night. Yesterday I met up with Jesse Elliott. We went for dinner. I didn't film a lot. I didn't vlog a lot. I meant to bring my vlogging camera and then I decided not to and I meant to use my phone to vlog. I'm not I'm, I don't really like vlogging with my phone. I don't really do that. So we met up for dinner around 5 15. We went to this really nice Italian restaurant that actually is like it used to be a court house like the the restaurant like the building used to be a courthouse so it's got like a lot of levels like our our table was like on the third floor it was beautiful in there high ceilings gorgeous our number one new york times best-selling memoir eat pray love exploded in 2006 and famously chronicled the year she spent traveling the world after her divorce in the years since people around the world have looked to elizabeth for guidance in leading brave authentic and creative lives please help me give a warm welcome to elizabeth gilbert myself up for anything it's never worked um, it just doesn't work I mean anytime I try to armor myself up I feel like I only end up getting hurt more and I would only tell you this that um, that I don't pretend to be tough anymore and I don't try to be tough anymore I have to be very understanding and compassionate with myself about the fact that I am extremely vulnerable and sensitive which is how I get to be a writer right in the first place like do we really want me to not have those sensitivities so I'll, I'll give you this, I, I never read reviews um, because as John Updike said so beautifully, reading your own reviews is like reading, it's like eating a sandwich that might have some broken glass in it, right? Might not, but it might. And, um, and I am so sensitive that, you know, I don't Google my name, I don't look and see what people are saying about me on the interwebs because it will stay in my head forever, right? The ones that I have read that said, mean or snarky things about me, they're still in there and that harms me. It's hard, I don't, I really try to practice ahimsa to myself. I try not to deliberately do anything that will harm me. Um, so I would say be very careful about what you, about not allowing yourself to be too aware of what people are saying about it, right? Um, it's almost like put it out there and then don't look. <laughs> it's so tempting. And often people do the thing, I remember talking to Brene Brown about this. She's like, do you do that thing where you scroll down the comments till you find the meanest one that confirms your darkest, deepest opinion of what a fraud you are, and then that's the only one you believe? I'm like, I used to, but I don't do any of that anymore. So, so just be careful about what you expose. The hard work is done already, though, and you're not required to... to yeah, you're not required to, to expose yourself to that. And Jessie, of course, is so lovely. She's such a golden human. I am so proud of her, you know? Like, I'm so proud of what she's doing. And yeah, I always have just such a great time when I'm hanging out with her, so that was really nice. All right, I'm gonna stop flapping my gums and I'm gonna do some writing. Okay, chapter six. Just a kid growing up in a small town All I ever really needed was my crew around 
In sweatpants, no fear on the t-shirt Basic kids, but we always had a chauffeur I found my ride or die for life Okay, so I've been writing for about 45 minutes or so I managed to finish that last bit of the first scene that I kind of wanted to add a little bit more to And then I also finished editing the second scene of chapter 6 So that's all done In this chapter, I haven't been making big changes It's been definitely smaller scale changes I don't know what it is, but even when I fix just like one little thing Like if I, um, like fix like a dialogue tag or a single word or just like the order of words like if I just any any little change that I make if I add a little comma if I take away a comma I know that it seems really small and insignificant but it just knowing that each little thing is is making the story better I feel like it's really easy in the editing and like revising stage of writing to kind of get overwhelmed or like frustrated because maybe like things like things aren't working or whatever you feel like it's not getting better like I feel like it, it, it's kind of easy to, to start feeling that way and so I'm really trying to acknowledge and appreciate all the little tiny changes that I'm making and how it's all kind of adding up to make this story the best that I can possibly make it I don't know I just feel like every little change is like you know help Thing. It's all adding toward this this bigger picture thing So I definitely recommend kind of acknowledging all the little tiny changes that you're making during your editing and revising process Like just appreciate all the little changes because they're all adding up They're all working toward the same goal of making your story better and yeah all that being said right now I really do want to keep working on this edit But I have to go see my parents because I haven't seen them all week because I was working So I want to make sure I go visit them before my friend comes over I'll try to vlog as much as I can during the week and kind of keep you posted and keep you updated as far as my Ben writing. All right, now I'm gonna go see my parents and then just hang out. My hair is a little crazy. I just washed it and didn't even brush it. I just let it dry. I'm really trying to embrace my natural hair, my natural waves, curls um, more often. Anyway, hi, today is Sunday. It is April 2030th. It's April 30th. It is the last day of camp. It is the last day of camp. I just kind of wanted to wrap up this vlog and wrap up, you know, April camp. So I feel like I did fairly well for the first two weeks of April. I was working on Ben. I was working on secret project stuff. Like I was, I was, I was, I felt good about kind of the progress that I was making. It was slow progress, but it was like steady. Like I had like a little routine of working on things and it was feeling good. But then of course, you know, work. And um, I decided I needed to really just get through the last bit of this contract. I wasn't going to force myself to work on Ben like when I was super tired or anything, any creative project because I was, I'm, I've just been so exhausted. And so yeah, I just decided to kind of give myself a, a bit of grace and um, I've worked on secret project stuff here and there. I haven't done too much Ben work. I feel like I did last weekend a little bit. Haven't done anything this week. For this weekend and that's okay because I finish work technically we finish shooting in three days so by May 3rd May 3rd is my last shoot day it's an overnight so it's gonna be I'm gonna be so exhausted I get Thursday off and then I go back to work on Friday and I have five days of just sort of wrapping out so we're not filming we're just sort of organizing we're cataloging we're doing all that wrap out stuff and then after that after those five days May 11th I think is technically my last day let me check yeah so Thursday May 11th is my official last day of work I am unemployed after that day which means I kind of I get my life back you know I'm a free agent and I have so many things that I want to get done so many things that I want to pick up again so many things that I want to work on again so many things that I just I need to think about and organize and plan and I'm so excited I'll do that I'll talk about all that stuff in another video I just wanted to kind of wrap up this video but I'm very excited to be unemployed <laughs> my plan right now for after May 11th I want to take at least a month off of work I don't want to do any work stuff for at least a month after this contract ends and I've set myself up financially to do that comfortably so I don't have to stress about money during that month off and I can really just focus on organizing my life getting my life together and getting my creative projects to um, you know the, the place that I'd like them to be which I think is gonna be so good it's gonna be so good. So yeah, as far as my April camp goal of finishing five chapters of Ben, I did not do that. I finished the prologue and I finished two scenes of chapter six. So roughly a chapter and a half. But again, this month was 
crazy, crazy heavy at work. So I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm proud of myself for the work that I did get done. Right now I'm working on my May calendar. I'm gonna do this. I wanna do my May bullet journal, set up those spreads. I'm gonna go see my parents in a little bit. I'm gonna make some dinner and just kind of plan. I have a lot of plans and like ideas for videos that I wanna make and things that I wanna do and things that I want to and need to do for Ben and my secret project. I have a lot of things floating in my brain and I really need to start writing stuff down and planning things out. And I really can't wait to be able to focus solely on that. My first thing I'm gonna do once work is done is I need to do another deep clean. I did a half deep clean before this contract started. I meant to finish the deep clean, never did. It was just, it was, it's too hard. It's too much, okay? It's too much. So now, although I don't have to do like as deep of a clean for the half that I already deep cleaned as far as like decluttering and all that stuff, that, that stuff is still, still good. But I definitely need to deep clean and then there's the other half of my apartment that I need to declutter and organize and go through, including my bookshelf here. I'm gonna, don't look at all this trash. I'm definitely gonna be going through my books again because I think I need to potentially declutter. I, I can't get rid of, it's so hard for me to get rid of books, but I think I need to get rid of books that I either um, won't be reading, although that's so hard to do because I might, who knows, I might read it one day, but if there's anything that I don't think I'll ever get to read, I'll get rid of it. Or books that I have read that I don't see myself rereading. Um, I need to go through all of that to organize that. And yeah, so let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your April camp went. Let me know how your goals went. Did you reach your goals? Did you not reach your goals? How's your writing going? How's your reading going? What are you reading? What are you watching? Tell me all the things. So thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are golden. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.